So in this next part, we're going to have a look at how exactly to build our roads using links. So because we want a single uninterrupted stretch of highway, I'm going to be starting from this point on the highway, going along and finishing off over here. So we will begin by zooming in on the end of the highway that we want to build. We're going to pick links from the table from the table of network objects. You're going to right click on the center lane of the road and drag it in the direction of movement. So you just do that, you let go and automatically this window will pop up where now you define the name of the road. So we'll take this as road number one. We'll enter the name as West East. And you're going to increase the number of lanes to four. Now, because we have three main lanes and one shoulder lane. Now the lane indexes will count from indices will count from out from the outermost lane to the innermost lane, meaning lane index one is going to be our shoulder lane. So we can go ahead and block all of the vehicles from entering the shoulder lane because that will not be part of our simulation. And you can change it to obstacle, for example. So we'll put no lane changes and that'll have blocked our shoulder lane from being used at all. Now, in the case of widths, uh, you can measure these from Google Earth. I measured mine to be 3.5 meters for each road lane and for the shoulder lane it was only 3.2 meters so you can enter that over there and go ahead and hit OK. Now automatically your road is there for lanes with the shoulder lane being a little bit smaller and what we'll do now is we'll zoom out you'll click on the road and you'll drag one end all the way to the end of where you need your road to reach. Now, if you look, the alignment is not exactly correct. So what we do is you'll right click, you'll uh, click on the road first, you'll right click on points on the road to add bending points. So now using these points, we can just shift the road and align it perfectly. Just drag and hold and realign your road. Uh, now we have one side of the road moving from west to east. We can just click on the road, hold down control and right click and go down the list, generate opposite direction. Now we have four lanes in the opposite direction as well, so that's perfectly fine. You just hit OK and we have our opposite road. But we have not included a median, so you'll just drag this to realign it with the opposite side of the road, exactly where it's supposed to go. You can zoom in to make sure it's proper on both sides. It seems fine. The only thing left to do is to rename the other side of the road. So you're going to double click the link to again change its properties. You're going to go ahead and name it East West. And there we have our links. Here you can see the number of lanes, the name, the width, the block vehicles, the display type have all been changed as we did earlier. And on the second screenshot, you can see that the name has been changed. I will be changing my screen recorder to allow you guys to see the windows and the menus. In the next part, we will move on to adding vehicle inputs and vehicle compositions.